Okay, perfect. So in today's webinar, uh, we'll be looking into the digital transformation within the fit out industry. So my name is Arjun De Gil, and I'll be your host for today's webinar. Uh, my role at ArcDesk is to help construction organizations embrace digital transformation by understanding specific needs to allow us to build an ArcDesk platform that is embedded into your company's processes. So on screen now is today's agenda. I'll be asking for roughly 45 minutes of your time. And to begin with, I will give you a short introduction to who we are at Arcdesk, what the digital transformation means for the fit out industry, how we can start to move away from disconnected teams and applications into a connected environment. We will then look into what Arcdesk is and go over a basic demonstration of the Arcdesk system. And to finish off, I'll recap and answer any questions that come up throughout the webinar. Uh, just some quick house rules. Uh, you're all muted automatically, so feel free to um, have your coffees or um, don't worry about the parcel guys delivering any parcels. It won't interrupt the webinar. Uh, there is a question and answers area within the Zoom platform, so feel free to direct any questions into uh, that area. And now we'll try and look to answer all of those questions at the end of the webinar. If we're unable to answer those questions, I will send out an extract uh, to each of you with the answers associated onto that. So at Arcdesk, we're, we are creating integrated technology with connected methodology. We do this to change how the constru construction industry embraces digital transformation. Now, as the way we work has drastically changed over the last 12 months, we understand that not all construction companies are the same and not all platforms deliver the single source of truth with added flexibility. That's why we created Arcdesk system so that it can bring control and collaboration within a construction firm of any size. Now with the ability to keep projects on track and within budget, data is accessible right from the system, increasing efficiencies whilst allowing companies to create their very own golden thread of information, keeping teams and information connected. So what do we mean by the fit out digital transformation? Now, a recent survey conducted by McKinsey and Company of 899 C-level senior managers across countries and industries found that 40% of organizations acknowledged they were behind their peers with the use of tech. Now, during the same study, finds that responses to COVID-19 have speeded up the adoption of digital technologies by several years, with 93% increasing remote working as a direct response to work from home orders and 54% agreeing that they would expect the changes to stay post COVID. A remote working culture shift means that that trusty local share driver all used to became more than just redundant and in most cases completely obsolete. So not only has that changed, but it also changed the way industry sectors communicate with their colleagues and also their customers. So what's that mean for the fit out industry? Now key sectors are redesigning their industries changing the way they communicate with staff and customers, the fit out industry is primed to adapt to the way they not only communicate internally, but adapt the way they design spaces. The move from traditional office fit outs to more co-working orientated environments allows technology to be further influenced in the design from the outset. Now it's not just offices, but retail has changed. Walking into the high street store is not just about to buy go buying goods anymore but more a developed industry to create in-store experiences to interact with their customers uh, based to influence buying decisions. Now, all of this can't change without the fit-out industry adapting its internal processes to embrace connected forms of working as more and more disciplines begin to work in remote settings and, in, and also flexibly. So what does fit-out, so why does the fit-out industry need to change? Now, the change is not just moving away from paper to digital means. We've already done that and with the use of applications such as creating a PDF and sharing via email. That's digi digitization. The process we're moving into now is digitalization, and that's where Arcdesk comes in. So what is digitalization? This is where we leverage digitized formats to improve each business process. So what does that really mean? With transitions in the way workforces work, the fit out industry is one that uses internal and external sources for, for every project, be it a subcontractor to complete flooring, 
a supplier to supply fixtures and fittings, or the designers to create and adjust the complete design. Now, how often have you found yourself missing information on site, searching emails for those important layout drawings, or having to go over endless Excel spreadsheets to find the correct quotes or details on project costs, or to realize the document isn't updated? What about the important planning process? How often has your program of works been extended due to the delay and it not being updated? That's where digitalization comes in, or what in the what we in the industry like to call digital transformation. With everything I've, everything I've mentioned, the shift from being disconnected and working in silos is the most important change fit out companies need to make. Moving to a connected environment will help improve efficiencies right across your organizations and grow collaboration across your workforce. Connected digitalization allows you to save time and budget better. It provides a complete track of finances with real-time data and collaboration across your workforce. The creation of the golden thread of information in a single source of truth, allowing your company to improve its efficiencies. So what happens if the fit out industry doesn't adapt? The Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors conducted a study of 835 construction firms in 13 countries during 2020. 72% of those confirmed that digital transformation is a key priority. Without adapting, we increase limited processes due to siloed working. So let's think of some examples. Sending the incorrect teams or trades to the incorrect project due to lack of information. Now, a MEP team, complete a ventilation install, but, uh, but an issue causes a delay. That could mean the cost for the internal roofing team increases as they will need to be on site for longer and potentially not even sticking to their deadlines. A change in the design that is not reported to all relevant teams due to missing processes, that can create delays right across the project from program of works filtering into other projects. Finance teams not receiving the correct data on valuation and expenses from timesheets, that can result into miscommunication and subcontractors and delays on site with projects and costs increasing, budgets and budgets well over projections. Being digital and having data doesn't mean you're adopting to digital transformation. Digital transformation is the ability to connect the siloed workforces into one collaborative connected environment and utilize the data better and project processes. So what do we mean by shifting to connected environments? That's all about bringing your silo your siloed work teams into interconnected environments, managing information from operational processes into each project, whilst being able to make quick tangible, tangible financial decisions for the best outcome for every project. This includes being able to take a program of works and monitor every task by a single click, whilst being able to efficiently create and monitor on-site activity with customizable forms such as h and for safer working environments and access employee and subcontractor timesheets to track resource output. This can be managed all in one single solution, bringing a magnitude of data into one single source of truth. That single source of truth allows for deeper analysis across operations, project management, and most importantly, project financials. Taking time and budgets whilst having the complete picture of financial crosses across the project. Now, connected teams with the ability to communicate across disciplines, be internal, or external, and receive real-time information, and also tracking the use of assets across all your pro projects. Now, this all allows you to collect real-time data and have it all displayed centrally to make business decisions that create business efficiencies. So that brings me nicely on to discussing what we do at Arcdesk. So Arcdesk is an innovative workflow management solution created for the construction industries. Now developed by industry experts, the system solves the real challenges your company faces by optimizing the entire workflow. Delivered via the cloud, there's no special install installations and our main solution is optimized for individual company needs. Arcdesk allows you to monitor your complete project lifecycle management and also your company too. Our system allows us to model the most complex and advanced projects, giving you full control over each stage of the process. The Octa solution was developed and created after our founders saw that a lot of challenges could be solved 
with the use of developing a single source of truth and eliminating the need for paper on the construction site with the use of integratable digital solutions. During the early years, we began to build the solution and perfect the application to support the different people and departments that wanted to create collaboration between teams and also other applications. Over the last couple of years, Arcdesk has been able to grow immensely, secure, securing clients not only in Europe, but also the Middle East and further afield, as organizations realize that there is a way to digitize their processes and increase efficiencies to better gain profitability. So that brings us nicely into uh, providing you with a demonstration of the Arctest system. So bear with me while I navigate to our application. And hopefully you can still see my screen, which I believe is still being shared. And if you just raise your hands to let me know that you can see our um, login page. Perfect. So what we've accessed here is the Octez system. Now, as I mentioned, we're cloud-based. So I'm using I'm using and accessing the system through our web browser through my web browser. Um, so as long as you have a web browser, you can access the application. We also have applications available on Android and um, Apple devices. All you need to do is log on to the app stores um, for both of those platforms and download our applications to gain access. Now we've created a fictional company which is called Morgan Fitout to showcase a demonstration. And to log into the system, all I needed to do was register and hopefully remember my password. Once I log into the system, I'm brought to one of our main screens, which is one of the most powerful data elements that you can have within a system. This is our dashboard reporting area. Now our dashboard reporting area is really unique. Firstly, the Arcdes system is not an off the shelf product we develop the system to your company processes. So we wanna see what reports you're running, how you're running the reports, and we want to get those reports into the system so you can have data at your fingertips. Now I'm logged in at the minute and I'm viewing our inquiries uh, dashboard. The inqu inquiries dashboard gives me a whole, a whole load of information. It gives me a traffic light system at the top of the page with our nice widgets that we've got loaded up, which is connecting to different data streams within the system that's giving me information on costs associated to one projects and also completed projects. By scrolling down the page, I can view things like the projects that we've won and what stages in construction they're in and a whole magnitude of data trends uh, to get the relevant information. Now, this doesn't only just work on financials and inquiries. We also have a forms dashboard, which allows your site managers to quickly get access to relevant forms for different projects when they're working on site. So if they're completing weekly site reports or weekly safety reports or even daily safety reports, they can navigate quite quickly and have access to that information very quickly and very easily. Now, as I mentioned, Arcdesk isn't just a project management system. We also have company trends within the solution as well. That allows us to monitor different areas within your company and processes, keeping track of employees and also the different types of assets that you might have internally that using. This could be heavy machinery, right from cranes all the way down to uh, automatic lifts that you'll be using within projects. So what I'm going to navigate to is our projects area. And within our projects area, I'm going to navigate to one of our demo uh, projects that we have loaded in our Morgan Fitout company, which is a start of your corner house. Now, when I log into that project, I'm brought to our details page. Now, the details page gives us a magnitude of information, which allows me to have a look at all the high level data across this particular project. Now, this details section is completely bespoke in terms of how your company and what your company wants to see. On this particular example, I have relevant information to references. I have details of who the project directors are, costs associated, completion times, and also links to the contract so we can get access to that information really quickly. At the top of the page, I have our process. And what I can see from this is that this project is already in our O&M manual stage. So we're nearing completion on this particular project. That brings me nicely onto explaining what our processes are. So within the system, we have a very powerful workflow, workflow, uh, workflow engine. And that workflow engine allows us to create processes for your companies individually, but also look into industri uh, industry-led processes and workflow management areas that might need to be assigned. 
So on this particular example, we've gone through our inquiry stage all the way up to our construction stage, and now we sit into the O&M manuals. Now, what I can do on that particular process is click into it, and I can get really quick information on where this project currently is. Now, within the system, we bring all of your colleagues and your external contractors and subcontractors together with collaboration. And we do that with a range of communication tools. So where in the past you'll be using emails to communicate, phone calls, and having things go missing or miscommunication across different streams, within the system, we can do this really quickly and keep everyone united, working to that common goal of completing this project to the highest quality and efficiently. So we do that by creating things like to-dos. And our to-dos can be associated straight into a process where we can add different elements to particular areas. So on this particular example, we can see we've got a couple of to-dos that have been assigned to some of our colleagues. We've got Anika that needs to go out and do a site visit. If we need to ever add a particular to-do, it's really easy. We click our to-do button. We can add a des describe a task. We can add an assignee. So that's a person within the system. And we can create that to-do. That person will then get notified through the system that they have a task to complete. And then this task will then wait for that task to be completed. Now, the completion area of this particular process can be done in a number of ways. We have a percentage area and we also have predefined areas. Now, our workflows are not just linear. We can also make our workflows non-linear. And to do that, we can go to our options area. And if for whatever reason, we can skip a particular stage or cancel the stage completely. So that gives you a quick overview of our workflow areas and how we can bring the processes from design, uh, from inquiry to design and through to construction. This also helps a lot of our clients with the handover processes, allowing them to develop forms into handing over um, the correct information to their clients when they're completing a project. So just navigating a little bit further down, and I won't spend too much time on some areas, um, as this is just to demonstrate a quick overview of how we can help with fit outs, but we have every single contact that's associated to every single, pro uh, every single project listed in each individual project. So we can find out who's working on each site. And most importantly, we do have document management within the system as well. That document management allows us to share all of the files associated with this particular project. So where we spoke about things about sharing folders on shared drives, having someone putting fold folders and files on their desktop and then having to go back to emails to see if you've got the right information, that can be your obsolete when using a system like Artdesk. You can put all of your information, all of your data within the project. We can share that information with everyone that's involved. We can also make that information visible to certain people or certain disciplines or hide it. And we can share that with everyone that's involved on the project. Now, if there is a user that is not accessing the Arc Desk system, we also have the ability to share files externally with, our, uh, with those teams as well by sending them a unique link and being able to download the information. And that's what we have in the central storage, allowing that collaboration across all your documentation. So just moving into our communication tools, our notes area allows you to keep all types of notes for every type of project. So let's say, for example, you've had a meeting with your client and your client suggested certain changes that need to be run. Rather than just keeping those onto your computer or into or on, uh, on a Word document, that can be all uploaded into the system so the correct people have access to all that information very quickly and very easily. And we can track all of that information across the time. So we have that complete audit trail from inquiry through to the different stages that you might go through. So as we discussed in our processes section, we also have our to-do section. And our to-do section allows us to further um, assign tasks to different people that need to do different things within this particular project. We can set uh, priority states with those, and also they can be linked straight away to those processes as well. Now, our forms area is a really interesting section, and many forms can take, uh, take form into this area. So as you can see on this particular example, we have our safety observation reports. These could be reports that are completed on a daily basis by your uh, site managers, or it could be forms that are completed on handover, or even condition reports that you're completing on certain phases of the construction process. What we could do is create forms and we can also complete those forms by signing them off within the system. We can share forms externally. 
um, if we need to, so everyone has access to all of the information they need. Now, within the system, we also have our request for information area. So this gives us further communication tools to make sure that we're creating uh, the project to our clients to find specifications. This allows us to request further information and track those requests, um, whether they've been answered, whether the que what que questions we need to be answering and how that needs to be processed. So we have a number of communication tools and all of these communication tools allow you to keep that collaboration of all of your uh, employees, your external employees, your internal employees, and also your contractors that are working on site within the system. So you have that complete single source of truth from what is being going on on any type of site. So it's moving down into the different areas of the system and moving into one of our most powerful areas is our financial capabilities of what Optus can do. So I've just gone into our quote section and what our quote section allows us to do is uh, a number of elements of quoting from the beginning all the way to the end. Now, some of you may um, receive things like bill of quantities from your clients that can all be inputted into the system as well by clicking our button up here and importing your Excel files. So what you might be doing on a daily basis is using Excel or different types of tools to complete your estimations or evaluations uh, for your clients, sorry, or your quotes for your clients. When you're completing your quotes, you're going to have a different sections for different, um, different disciplines that are involved in any particular project. And where I mean is, if we navigate to the left-hand side, where you can see my mouse, is we have a number of different disciplines. Now, all of these different disciplines might be doing things on their own Excel spreadsheets or their databases. They may be using different calculations. They may be using different uh, catalogs to assign different items. And there may be different, uh, maybe different estimation, estimations in, involved in being able to create that quotation. When you bring that all together, you may have a number of issues where your calculations might not match. Your quotations might expire due to someone not sending the right information um, or someone just missing out an important element. That's all taken away from Arcdesk when you join our platform. We separate everything into sections. And if I just click onto a section and we've gone into our plim rules and management, you can see that we have every single item listed down. Each discipline is given a category and each category can be edited. So just to give you a quick overview of this particular page, we have two cost areas. We have our unit cost areas in red. Now the red areas are the cost to your company. The green is the cost to the client. Now, if we needed to ever add information into this particular section, all we need to do is click on our red button and we can access our catalog. So this brings me on to another important area. All your catalogs for all your quotations are kept within the system. That allows you to get quick access and be able to monitor the different types of um, items that are going to be associated with different areas. If we needed to add an item, all we do is click, enter the quantity, and we can put that in. So I know you're probably thinking, what if there is an item that is a bespoke item for a particular quotation? We can do that quite easily within the system. We can add a simple item where we can add simple information to it and add it into the uh, the quotation, or we can go further and add more advanced items. So we can give items a description and also provide sub items for this particular item as well. So we have the ability to add all of that information quickly into the system so that the quotations are kept central. So just navigating back to our details area, I'm just going to show you how that's represented to uh, your clients. And I'm going to click the preview in a browser. So navigating to this area, you can see how our quotations will show up and we can go through all the different disciplines and different categories to see what the offer costs are for that particular area. Within our quotations, we can set payment terms and we can man manage all of those different processes through this particular area where we can see our costs, our offered costs, our gross profits, what's been paid and what's outstanding. Here we can see how our payment terms are working and where certain changes and retentions are as well. So that's a really, really high level overview of our quotation area. We also do have a built in process to quotations, which goes through, uh, through the quote being produced all the way to the quotation being accepted by the client and then the accounting team to um, process it. Now, that also brings me on to 
giving you a quick overview of our integrations. Now, we know how important accounting is to every single project. So you may be using different types of accounting uh, products, including QuickBooks, Xero, or even Sage. We integrate with all of those um, applications. So depending on what you're using internally, we can integrate our system into your accounting software to make sure we have that nice, seamless um, flow of information. So just moving further down, I'm just going to go into one of our powerful tools, which is a financial dashboard. Now, our financial dashboard gives us a complete overview of the finances associated with this particular project. I won't go into too deep of this. Um, what we like to do is discuss deep dive sessions with yourself individually. So I do um, encourage you all to get in touch so we can look into your digital strategy and give you a deep dive overview of the, uh, the art desk system. But on this particular page, we have things like the project values all the way to where we're outstanding in terms of payments. Unfortunately, we can see on this particular budget, we've gone over our uh, prescribed budget and we can drill down into the finer details and find out where that was and how that happened. So how do we manage all of this program of works? That's all done through the system as well. So just navigating to our program of works tab, this loads up our Gantt chart facility that's built into the system. Now, you may already be using different types of Gantt charts. Uh, you might be using things like um, AConnect, you might be using uh, MS projects, or you might just be doing it on Excel. We can integrate with um, a number of those platforms by pushing it into the system. And what it allows us to do is put your program of works for this particular project into uh, the ArcDev system. So you have every all the information in one area. So I'm just going to go to um, show you how our Gantt chart works. And we have a number of milestones and a number of key um, areas that link to different areas. So if I just show you how intuitive our Gantt chart area is, we can get more information by clicking into each process. Now, this one is the site security. What we can also see is which person is responsible for this particular stage. And we can also see which assets are associated to different, um, different program of works. So in, for instance, this one has a van. That's uh, one of our vans that are associated to this particular project. And it's Angelina that's controlling it. So if there was any delays, we can get in touch with Angelina and find out what's, what's happening and where those particular assets are being used or if they could be utilized on a different project. What we also do is break down that Gantt chart into our schedule. Now our schedule allows us to go into the finer detail of each individual area. And what this allows us to do is track the trades on site and attract and track their expenses. Their expenses and spends are all fed into our financial dashboard, which I showed a moment ago. And that allows us to control all the costs within there. So what we can see here is the different types of labor uh, arms that are working on our, our different um, elements. So for example, our scaffolding, um, and also our fencing area that we looked at just a moment ago. It also shows us the different assets that are involved as well. So we can drill down it into the finer detail and get all of that information really quickly through the system. Now, the system doesn't just control project by project. We can also go into our key schedule area and have a look at every single project that we're working on. This gives us information to find out who's working on a project where they're working on that project and what the potential um, areas of completion are as well. So that gives us even more information to find out how projects are, how, how projects are performing um, on a program of works plan. And it gives us all of that relevant information and it's interactive. So we can click in and we can get the information really quickly to find out where particular projects are, who's working on them, on them in that given month or given time and we can drill down into the finer details as well. So like I said, this is a quick overview of uh, the ArcDesk system, giving you a basic overview. You can also see we do have timesheets areas, so timesheets uh, can be also inputted into the system, allowing you to further control your people on site. And what we do encourage is to get a deeper dive um, and to get in touch with us for a deeper dive of uh, this particular platform. So what I'm gonna do is just navigate back into our um, our presentation and hopefully you will all still be able to see that so just uh, raise your hands if you can still see my screen perfect 
So as you saw in the demo, Arcdesk isn't just another management system. We truly understand project lifecycle management and also what is important in the wider company. That's why Arcdesk is developed to go beyond project management, incorporating project management with financials and an overview of company operation, allowing your organization to move away from silo workplaces, allowing teams working remotely to stay connected and data kept central to anyone that needs it. Now, as mentioned during the demo, we don't just install a system and leave you to get on with it. Our processes are centered around the true definition of SaaS software as a service. We first understand your processes and develop a digital strategy to enable you to organize to your organization to fully incorporate the project management, finances, and operations. Now, with Arcdesk, we, we can integrate into a number of other systems, like I mentioned. Now, to, that allows us to create your digital ecosystem. And that can be from project plans with MS projects or applications like QuickBooks. So that brings me towards uh, the end of the webinar today. And before we do move into our questions, let's just have a little recap of what we discussed. So firstly, we saw with Arcdesk, um, how we have the ability to create a complete connected process from inquiry to handover. Through the system, we can track and monitor employee whereabouts so the correct resources are allocated to the correct projects and also assets. A central environment to keep project plans and schedules completely updated and assets including heavy machinery records. And most importantly, we looked at how we can keep track of the complete project financial lifecycle to better analyze cost. That gives us the ability to create control, create collaboration and create consistency on every single project that you're working on. So we're just gonna move into questions. Uh, so just bear with me while I open up the questions tab. Okay, so I can see we have a couple of questions that have popped up. So just to give you a couple of answers on those. So I've got one question, which was, is there a smaller version of the Arcdesk for non-enterprise companies? So we do have a smaller version of the Arcdesk system. It is called our SBE edition, our small business edition, and it takes into everything we've learned from working with enterprise organizations and creates predetermined, predefined routes to uh, better allow so smaller organizations to control um, and collaborate with different databases. Um, so someone's asking what the implementation process is like and how that's processed. So our implementation process is really unique at Arcdesk. We don't just go out and install the system and leave you to get on with it. We have a structured implementation plan and that plan involves understanding every single department of your organization. It allows us to build the system to your organization. So we have, firstly, we can, we can help you with the change management of installing a system like this and understand your, your employees' aspirations from this type of system. It also allows us to then understand what kind of reporting or what kind of uh, tasks that they're working on that we can push into the system and build on. So our implementation process is built from the ground up to make sure that the system goes on a journey with you. So that's what we truly believe uh, that software as a service is. Um, and that's about it for questions on today's one. So before we wrap up, uh, my contact details are on screen again. I really do um, suggest, kind of advise that you get in touch with me so we can truly learn about your digital strategy. What we can then do is have deeper dive sessions into the Arcdesk system, going into the nitty gritty area. So please do get in touch should you wish to discuss that further uh, and we can set that deep dive session up. So lastly, the webinar has been recorded and it will be available to stream. And also look out to send out uh, a list of the questions and extract that out to all of yourselves as well. Uh, so that brings me on to the end of the webinar. I do thank you for your time in joining me today. And like I said, have a look at our website, get in touch, and we can um, put those deeper sessions into, into our diaries and schedule a, schedule a call with you all. Many thanks for your time today.